Let him ask in faith, with no doubting, for the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea that is driven and tossed by the wind. James 1, verse 6. January is here and we are preparing journey to cross over to the Bahamas. We pull out of Bonefish Marina and head back over to our favorite anchorage, Coco Plum in Marathon. We're still in walking distance to Bonefish and the people were so great to tell us to use the facilities if we needed. Little did we know as we prepared to get ready to cross that our wait would be about two weeks. The January wind set in and we were stuck in Marathon. Another reason was trying to get the car sold. We had one little window on January 7th to cross, but we still owned the car. And then the morning of January 8th came, and we had someone want the car and buy it by 4 that afternoon. We were still stuck in Marathon another week. So as we waited, we got to test out our new solar panels and caught up with some friends we had in the area. And I watched the pelicans roost each night. This is what I'll miss the most about Coco Plum. The nightly ritual to find a spot in the mangroves before sunset. A little window was coming and we needed to get into position to cross. This meant a little bumpy ride up the Atlantic to Isla Mirada to get fuel, but we took it. A beautiful sunrise. So pretty. Maybe that's a really good sign. Yeah. We'll hope that it is. We are leaving. Coco Plum, We're ready for some good weather. We have been crazy right now for the last week or more. Hoping we can get up to Isla Mirada and get some fuel and then get on the inside. I'll give you some updates later as long as the seas are not too rough. A little rolly in the Atlantic, but overall a fairly smooth ride up to Isla Mirada. After filling up, we were able to get back on the Gulf side of the Keys and make our way up to Pumpkin Key near Key Largo. To watch the sunset and prepare to cross the next day. We are so ready. The crossing was smooth, but we did have about two and a half hours of some rough seas. The water was a blue, deep, and the Gulf Stream helped us across. Soon Bimini was in sight and lots of traffic, and we had not been alone out there crossing today.
made contact with Bimini Sands Marina and they said come on in. After getting Journey settled in her slip, Dee headed to the airport to check us in so we could fly the Bahamas courtesy flag and officially begin exploring the Bahamas. Our marina was on South Bimini, so we headed down to the water taxi to cross over to North Bimini to explore. We saw a ray hanging out at the dock. Now the water taxi, it was an experience, especially the ride back. We saw this beautiful sunset and had our first Bahama beer, Kalik, and a juicy cheeseburger. Now it was time to explore South Bimini, which is fairly remote even with the airport on this side. But we really like this area, it's without all the hustle and buzz bustle of tourists. Although Bimini seems to be just a big fishing draw, especially North Bimini. We explored the beach and then walked inland to explore some. Our walk resulted in finding this little nature trail. After our day of exploring, we spent a day on the beach just enjoying the view. As always, I am shell hunting on the beach, even as the sun goes down. Our marina was like an aquarium. We enjoyed seeing what we could spy in the water each day. But when the fishermen came in, we learned of the bull sharks hiding under the docks. There would be no bottom cleaning here as we had planned. Somebody did. <laughs> so we've almost been here a week at Bimini Sands Marina, and um, the windshields are a little foggy. Dee's cleaning them. It has been really windy, but last night, wind, and you can hear it, it's not even like last night. It was probably 35 plus last night in here, and we are very protected marina. Where has been, looks like Friday, a week's gonna open up and we're gonna get out of here. I'm gonna zoom in here and wait till you can see the waves crashing on the rocks out there. But we are hopeful to get out of here Friday, head over to Chubb for a night. And then toward Eleuthera, I don't know if we'll go all the way or we'll make another stop, but we got a good window and we're just going to get all the way over to Eleuthera so we can get started. Here's how it's rolling up on the dock. Shelby. Getting pounded pretty good herself. Some friends from North Carolina. Our neighbors are from Massachusetts. That is Max. Wondering what's going on. Don't blame me. And we're just all hanging out in here hoping to get out on, on Friday. We endured some strong winds while spending a week in the marina, but as we all saw the window to leave open, we gathered at the Thirsty Turtle for a potluck and some drinks to all share our stories and where we were headed. Good times. We take our last walk on the South Bimini Beach and around the marina to get some pictures of Journey and the marina. Berry Islands, here we come for a quick stop before heading towards Eleuthera. <laughs> 